Hello students, welcome to EPG Patsala. I am Dr. Prasanna Kumar Patra from Utkal University Bhubaneswar. Today we will discuss about the module Epidemiology of Common Communicable Diseases from the paper Physiological Anthropology. So students, let's see what we are going to learn from this module. This module will focus on the concept of epidemiology. It will elaborate on various communicable diseases like acute respiratory infection, tuberculosis, tuberculosis and HIV, leprosy, dengue fever, etc. The word epidemiology was derived from the Greek word epi, meaning on or often, demos, meaning people, and logos, meaning the study of. Many definitions have been proposed, but the following definition captures the underlying principles and public health spirit of epidemiology. It is, epidemiology is the study of the distribution and determinants of health related states or events in specified populations. And the application of this study to the control of health problems. Epidemiology is the science that studies the patterns, causes, and effects of health and disease conditions in defined populations. It is the cornerstone of public health and informs public decisions and evidence best practice by identifying risk factors for disease and targets for preventive health care. Epidemiology has helped develop methodology used in clinical research, public health studies, and to a lesser extent, basic research in the biological sciences. Epidemiologists rely on other scientific disciplines like biology to better understand disease processes, statistics to make efficient use of the data and draw appropriate conclusions, social sciences to understand proximate and distal causes better and engineering for exposure assessment. Major areas of epidemiological studies include disease etiology, transmission, outbreak investigation, disease surveillance and screening, biomonitoring and comparisons of treatment effects such as in clinical trials. Communicable diseases. Communicable diseases are also known as infectious diseases, comprise clinically evident illness resulting from the infection, presence and growth of pathogenic biological agents in an individual host organism. Such kind of diseases are more common in the third world countries, hence also known as diseases of third world or old world. The main agents causing infections among human beings are bacteria, viruses, microorganisms such as nematodes, roundworms and pinworms, anthropods such as ticks, mites, fleas and lice. Fungi such as ringworm and other macroparasites such as tapeworms. It's about communicable diseases. There are some examples of communicable diseases such as acute respiratory infections or ARI, diarrhea diseases, tuberculosis, AIDS catastrophe, tuberculosis and HIV, measles, malaria, tetanus, viral hepatitis, typhoid, worm infection, leprosy, and dengue fever. Acute respiratory infections or ARI. This figure shows the infections of the respiratory tract. Respiratory infections are of two types lower respiratory tract infection and upper respiratory tract infection. Lower respiratory tract infection, while often used as a synonym for pneumonia, can also be applied to other types of infection 
including long abscess and acute bronchitis. Symptoms include shortness of breath, weakness, high fever, coughing and fatigue. Influenza affects both the upper and lower respiratory tracts. Every year, an estimated 4.1 million deaths were caused in young children by acute respiratory infection or ARI. It is estimated that Bangladesh, India, Indonesia and Nepal together account for 40% of the global ARI mortality. About 90% of the ARI deaths are due to pneumonia which is bacterial in origin. Tuberculosis. Tuberculosis or TB is one of major communicable diseases around the globe. It is an infectious bacterial disease caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis which most commonly affects the lungs. It is transmitted from person to person via droplets from the throat and lungs of people with the active respiratory disease. In healthy people, infection of mycobacterium tuberculosis often causes no symptoms since the person's immune system prevent it. The symptoms of active TB of the lung are coughing, sometimes with sputum or blood, chest pains, weakness, weight loss, fever and night sweats. Tuberculosis is treatable with a six month course of antibiotics. One third of world's population is thought to be have been infected with M. tuberculosis with new infections occurring in about 1% of population each year. In 2013, an estimated 9 million people fell ill with TB and 1.5 million died from the disease. Over 95% of TB deaths occur in low and middle income countries and it is among the top 5 causes of death for women aged 15 to 44. In the same year, an estimated 480,000 people developed multi-drug resistance TB or MDRTB. The estimated number of people falling ill with TB each year is declining, although very slowly, which means that the world is on the track to achieve the Millennium Development Goal to reverse the spread of TB by 2015. The TB death rate dropped 45% between 1990 and 2013. An estimated 37 million lives were saved through TB diagnosis and treatment between 2000 and 2013. AIDS catastrophe. Acquired immune deficiency syndrome is a combination of infectious diseases caused by the general breakdown of the immune system in the person infected with HIV or human immunodeficiency virus. Nowadays, HIV AIDS is a global pandemic. During initial infection of HIV, a person may experience a brief period of influenza-like illness. This is typically followed by a prolonged period without symptoms. As the infection progresses, it interferes more and more with the immune system, making the person much more susceptible to common infections like tuberculosis as well as opportunistic infections and tumors that do not usually affect people who have working immune systems. The late symptoms of the infection are referred to as AIDS. HIV is transmitted primarily via unprotected cell sexual intercourse including anal and oral sex, contaminated blood transfusions, hypodermic needles and from mother to child 
during pregnancy, delivery or breastfeeding. Some bodily fluids such as saliva and tears do not transmit HIV. Prevention of HIV infection primarily through safe sex and needle exchange programs is a key strategy to control the spread of the disease. There is no cure or vaccine. However, antiretroviral treatment can slow the course of the disease and may lead to a near normal life expectancy. The slide shows the picture where the main symptoms of acute HIV infection is described. The main symptoms of acute HIV infection includes fever, weight loss, headache, neuropathy, lymphadenopathy, skin rash, nausea and vomiting which is called as gastric, liver and spleen enlargement, muscle myaglia and mouth and sore throats shows the average chance of HIV infection as for exposure to an infected source. For example, the exposure route like blood transfusion will have 90% chance of infection and childbirth will have 25% chance of infection whereas insertive anal intercourse will have only 0.03% of chances of infection and receptive oral intercourse will have 0 to 0 0.04 percent of chances of infection. As per UN AIDS 2015, by the end of 2012, some 9.7 million people in low and middle income countries were accessing anti retroviral therapy, an increase of nearly 20 percent in just one year. Whereas 35.3 million people globally were living with HIV. 2.3 million become newly infected and 1.6 million people died from AIDS. South and Southeast Asia is the second most affected by the problem. In 2010, this region contained an estimated 4 million cases or 12% of all people living with HIV resulting in approximately 250,000 deaths. Approximately 2.4 million of these cases were in India. Tuberculosis and HIV. HIV itself is horrible at present and the number of people infected with both HIV and tuberculosis is increasing worldwide. This is another challenge for human civilization and medical science. The partnership of tuberculosis with HIV has made situation more critical. The HIV virus damages the body's natural resistance, the immune system and accelerates the speed at which tuberculosis progresses from a harmless infection to life-threatening condition. Measles. Measles also known as morbili, rubella or red measles is a highly infectious disease of childhood caused by a RNA paramicrovirus. It is an airborne disease which spreads easily through the coughs and sneezes of those infected. It may also be spread through contact with saliva or nasal secretions. 9 out of 10 people who share living space with an infected person may get infection. Initial signs and symptoms typically include fever often greater than 40 degree centigrade or 104 degree Fahrenheit, cough, runny nose and red eyes. After two or three days, the symptoms at small white spots may easily visible from inside the mouth known as complex spots. A red flat rash which usually starts 
on the face and then spreads to the rest of the body typically begins 3 to 5 days after the start of symptoms. Complications occur in about 30% which may include diarrhea, blindness, inflammation of the brain and pneumonia among others. As per the WHO estimate, in the year 2011, nearly 158,000 deaths were caused by measles. This was less than the deaths, that is 630,000, occurred during 1990. In the year 2013, measles remains the leading cause of vaccine-preventable deaths in the world. As per the WHO fact sheet, in 2013, there were 145,700 measles deaths globally, about 400 deaths every day or 16 deaths every hour. In developed countries, death occurs in 1 to 2 cases out of every 1,000. In populations with high levels of malnutrition and a lack of adequate health care, mortality can be as high as 10 percent. In cases with complications, the rate may rise to 20 to 30 percent. If you look at the figure given in the slide of the measles cases around the globe during last 35 years, you will see that in African region, the reported cases have come down from 1,240,000 in 1980 to only 12,125 cases reported in 2014. And in Southeast Asian region, from 199,535 to come down to 1,540 in 2014. And if you look at the worldwide figure, it was 4,211,000 reported cases in 1980 has come down to 55,719 in 2014. Malaria. Malaria is an entirely preventable and treatable mosquito burn communicable disease of humans and other animals caused by parasitic protogens belonging to the genus Plasmodium. The disease is transmitted by the biting of mosquitoes and the symptoms equally begin 10 to 15 days after being bitten. The typical symptoms of malaria include fever, fatigue, vomiting and headache. The disease is transmitted most commonly by an infected female Anopheles mosquito. The mosquito bite introduces the parasites from the mosquito saliva into the person's blood. The parasite then travel to the liver of hosts where they mature and reproduce. Five species of plasmodium can infect and spread by humans. Most deaths are caused by plasmodium falciparum because plasmodium vivax, plasmodium ovel and plasmodium malaria generally cause a milder form of malaria. The species Plasmodium nolesi rarely causes disease in humans. Chloroquine and primaquine are drugs used to treat the malaria. But the parasite is adapted with drugs and a new challenge is emerged to drug resistant malaria. Malaria is presently endemic in broadband around the equator. In areas of America, many parts of Asia, in most of Africa, in sub-Saharan Africa, 85 to 90 percent of malaria per fatalities occur. According to an estimate for 2009, countries with highest death rate per 100,000 of population were Ivory Coast, which was 86.15, Angola, which is 56.93, and Burkina Faso, 50.66. As per the World Health Organization fact sheet in the year 2014, 
malaria was reported from 97 countries and territories and estimated 3.3 billion people were at the risk of malaria of whom 1.2 billion are at high risk in high risk areas more than one malaria case occurs per 1000 population between 2000 and 2013 an expansion of malaria interventions helped to reduce malaria incident by 30% globally and by 34 in africa during the same period malaria mortality rates decreased by an estimated of 47% worldwide and by 54% in africa in the under 5 age group mortality rates have declined by 53% globally and by 58% in africa life cycle of malaria parasites the life cycle of malaria parasites is a mosquito caused by an infection by a bite first sporozoids enter the bloodstream and migrate to the liver they infect liver cells where they multiply into merozoids rupture the liver cells and return to the bloodstream then the merozoids infect red cell red blood cells where they develop into ring forms trophozoids and cysgeons that in turn produce further merozoids sexual forms are also produced which if taken up by a mosquito will infect the insect and continue the life cycle tetanus tetanus is now comparatively rare disease caused by bacterium called clostridium tetani the bacteria generally enters through a break in the skin such as a cut or puncture wound by a contaminated object the bacteria are commonly found in soil dust and manure it is also known as lockjaw characterized by muscle spasm in the most common type the spasm begin in the jaw and then progress to the rest of the body this spasm usually last a few minutes and each time and occur frequently for three to four weeks other symptoms may include fever headache trouble swallowing high blood pressure and a fast heart rate about 10 percent of these infected die tetanus occurs in all parts of the world but is most frequent in hot and wet climates where the soil contains a lot of organic matter the estimated global number of death due to tet tetanus decreased from 356,000 in 1990 to 59,000 in 2013. In India, tetanus is an important endemic infection. Behaviors such as poor hand washing and delivery practices, traditional birth customs, ignorance, and unawareness of immunization are important factors affecting the disease incidence. Prior to national immunization program, an estimated 0.35 million children died annually due to neonatal tetanus. An estimated 70,000 cases still continue to occur largely in Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Odisha, Bihar and Assam. Chloroquine and primaquine are drug used to treat the malaria, but the parasite is adapted with drugs and a new challenge is emerged as drug resistant malaria. Malaria is presently endemic in a broad brand around the equator in areas of the Americas, many parts of Asia and much of Africa, in sub-Saharan Africa. 85 to 90 percent of malaria fatalities occur according to an estimate for 2009 countries with the highest death rate per 100,000 of population with ivory coast it is 86.15 angola 56.93 and burkino faso 50.66
as per the WHO fact sheet, in the year 2014, malaria was reported from 97 countries and territories. An estimated 3.3 billion people were at risk of malaria, of whom 1.2 billion are at high risk. In high risk areas, more than one malaria case occurs per 1000 population. Between 2000 and 2013, an expansion of malaria interventions helped to reduce malaria incident by 30 percent globally and by 34 percent in Africa. During the same period, malaria mortality rates decreased by an estimated 47 percent worldwide and by 54 percent in Africa. In the under 5 age group, Mortality rates have declined by 53% globally and by 58% in Africa. Typhoid. The symptoms of typhoid may vary from mild to severe and usually begin after 6 to 30 days of exposure. Often, there is a gradual onset of a high fever over several days. Besides that, symptoms include weakness, abdominal pain, constipation, and headaches. If you look at the picture, rose-colored spots on the chest of a person with typhoid fever. Some people develop a skin rash with rose-colored spots. Without treatment, symptoms may last weeks or months. Typhoid is spread by eating or drinking food or water contaminated with the faces of an infected person. The risk factors include poverty as a result of poor sanitation and poor hygiene. Those who travel to the developing world are also at risk. Humans are the only animal infected. A typhoid vaccine can prevent about 50% to 70% of cases. The vaccine may be effective for up to 7 years. In 2010, there were 27 million cases were reported. The disease is most common in India and children are mostly affected. In 2013, typhoid fever had caused 161,000 deaths globally. Worm infestation. It is a universal problem. Almost all segments of population are having worm infestation. There were four types of worm which can infect humans and cause death problems among the host. These are thread worm or pin worm, round worm, tape worm, and hook worm. Between 10 and 15 percent of children carry thread worms. About 0.8 to 1.2 billion people globally have ascariasis, which is caused by round worm. Teniasis caused by tapeworm is predominantly found in Asia, Africa, and Latin America. Hookworm affects over half a billion people globally. If you look at the image given in this slide about the cycle of worm infestation, what you find is the adults of the worm in intestine, the eggs are move to the faces, then they get matured in soil and then move to, they develop into filariform larva that infectious for humans, then it goes to circulation through penetration in the skin when it come in contact with the larva in the soil, then the larva breaks into alveoli of lungs by migrating of trachea over epiglottis. Then it gets matured in the lumen of small intestine and from lumen of the small intestine it moves to the intestinal world and becomes adult in the intestine. The whole cycle of worm infestation moves like this. Leprosy. Leprosy is also known as 
Hansen's disease. It is caused by the bacteria Mycobacterium leparii and Mycobacterium lepromatosis. The transmission process of leprosy pathogen to a healthy body is still not fully known. It is not hereditary and least communicable of all infectious diseases. In this slide, you can see two pictures. The first picture is of a 24 year old man infected with leprosy. The picture was taken in 1886, and the second figure is about of hands deformed by a leprosy, which was taken in 1990. It can occur in any social and economic class. 20% of newly detected cases are children. A third of total world's leprosy patients are Indian. There were more than 0.4 million leprosy patients in India as on 31st March 2002. Globally, in 2012, the number of chronic cases of leprosy was 189,000 and the number of new cases was 230,000. The number of chronic cases has decreased from some 5.2 million in the 1980s to most new cases occur in 16 countries, India, Nepal, Pakistan and Bangladesh, etc. In the past 20 years, 16 million people worldwide have been cured of leprosy. Dengue fever. Dengue fever is a mosquito burn tropical disease caused by the dengue virus. The symptoms include fever, headache, muscle and joint pains, a characteristic skin rash that is similar to measles. In a small proportion of cases, the disease develops into the life-threatening dengue hemorrhagic fever, resulting in bleeding, low levels of blood platelets and blood plasma leakage or into dengue shock syndrome, where dangerously low blood pressure occurs. Dengue is transmitted by several species of mosquito within the genus Aedes. The virus has five different types. Infections with one type usually gives lifelong immunity to that type. Most people with the dengue recover without any ongoing problems. The fatality rate is 1 to 5 percent and less than 1 percent with adequate treatment according to World Health Organization 2015. However, those who develop significantly low blood pressure may have a fatality rate of up to 26 percent. Dengue is common in more than 110 countries. It infects 50 to 528 million people worldwide a year, leading to half a million hospitalization and approximately 25,000 deaths. The incident of dengue has grown dramatically around the world in recent decades. Rates of dengue had increased 30 fold between 1960 and 2010. This increase is believed to be due to a combination of urbanization, population growth, increased international travel, and global warming, according to WHO 2015. The geographical distribution is around the equator. The actual number of dengue cases are undergoing, un, sorry, underreported, and many cases are misclassified. One recent estimate indicates 390 million dengue infections per year, of which 96 million manifest clinically. Another study of the prevalence of dengue estimates that 390 million people in 120 countries are at risk of infection with dengue viruses. In India, around 5,000 cases of dengue fever were being reported per year. During rainy season, especially in urban areas, uh, in recent years, there has been an increase in hemorrhagic fever 
dengue shock syndrome associated with this outbreak. Up to November 2001, there were 2,929 cases and 47 deaths in India, according to Government of India. Epilogue. In spite of above described common diseases, there are many others which are less common. For example, influenza, swine flu, SARS, meningitis, filarial, smallpox, etc. Between November 2002 and July 2003, an outbreak of SARS in southern China caused an eventual 8,096 cases and 774 deaths. Within weeks, SARS spread from Hong Kong to 37 countries in early 2003. It then was eradicated by January. Since then, no cases were reported. Recently, swine flu and Ebola were created panic. In August 2010, the World Health Organization declared the swine flu pandemic. Ebola is a disease of humans and other primates caused by Ebola viruses. Between 1976 and 2013, the World Health Organization reports a total of 24 outbreaks involving 1,716 cases. The largest outbreak is the ongoing epidemic in West Africa centered in Guinea, Sierra Leone and Liberia. Stop. Still, diseases like malaria, dengue, diarrhea, tuberculosis, typhoid, tetanus, measles, hepatitis, worm infestation, leprosy are causing millions of death toll around the globe. Although these are curable and preventable, whereas the incurable diseases like AIDS is global pandemic, poverty, unawareness, lack of sanitation and hygiene are causes behind these communicable diseases and their deadly outbreak. The third world countries are most affected by these problems. The highly populated region of the world like India, China and African countries have highest prevalence of such common communicable problem. Besides government of those countries, the institutions like World Health Organization are continuously monitoring these problems. The progress of medical science had already established that such diseases can be eradicated. As now, humanity is free from deadliest diseases like smallpox. So students, let's summarize what we have learned in this module. Here is a description about common communicable diseases. In spite of above, there are many other which are less common, for example, influenza, swine flu, SARS, meningitis, filaria, smallpox, etc. Between November 2002 and July 2003, an outbreak of SARS in southern China caused an eventual 8,096 cases and 774 deaths. Within weeks, SARS spread from Hong Kong to 37 countries in early 2003. It then was eradicated by January. Since then, no cases were reported. Recently, swine flu and Ebola were created panic. In August 2010, the World Health Organization declared the swine flu pandemic. Ebola is a disease of humans and other primates caused by Ebola viruses. Between 1976 and 2013, the World Health Organization reports a total of 25 outbreaks involving 1,716 cases. The largest outbreak is the ongoing epidemic in West Africa, centered in Guinea, Sierra Leone, and Liberia. Still, diseases like malaria, dengue, diarrhea, tuberculosis, typhoid, tetanus, measles, hepatitis, worm infestation, leprosy 
are causing millions of death tolls around the globe, although these are curable and preventable, whereas the incurable diseases like AIDS is global pandemic. Poverty, unawareness, lack of sanitation and hygiene are causes behind these communicable diseases and their deadly outbreak. The third world countries are most affected by these problems. The highly populated regions of the world like India, China and African countries have highest prevalence of such common communicable problem. Besides government of these countries, the institutions like World Health Organization are continuously monitoring these problems. The progress of medical science had already established that such diseases can be eradicated. As now, humanity is free from deadliest diseases like smallpox. Thank you.